Hi, everybody. Um, <clears throat> it's me, Gary the Fam. It's been a while since I uh, made a video, uh, since I put up a vlog. I want to tell you my hair's been growing in, getting thicker, and there's a reason for that. Don't mind me, I just got up. I haven't even had my coffee yet this morning. It's around 9 o'clock in the morning. Actually, almost 10. I slept in today. I usually get up around 5.30, 6 o'clock. Well, I did, but then I decided to stay in bed and sleep a little bit longer. Um, the, the reason why my hair's grown in, number one, is this thing called biotin. Biotin, folks. Look at that. It's actually grown my head th hair thicker and grown in my hair. Look. Thin, the thinness on top of my hair is going away. Look, it's growing in thicker. It's disappearing. You can't really notice it too much because of the camera and the light. If you've seen it in person, you would notice that my hair is growing much thicker. It's, the thinness is going away. It's disappearing. And now I added vitamin E to the um, to the mix, and my hair feels thicker and it's growing in real well. So that's the secret, folks. This stuff actually does work. I noticed a big big difference in uh, hair growth. And uh, also, I want to add. I went to a uh, an epic concert. Uh, a week ago, uh, Dennis Young and the Music of Sticks celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Great Illusion. The Great Illusion album. Look at this. I got a t shirt. It was originally a $35 t shirt, but I got it for $25. They lowered the price. Uh, it was uh, well worth it. The concert was epic. Um, he played the whole entire Great Illusion album, and then he went into the Greatest Hits, the Greatest Hits album. Uh, album. He played everything from uh, Mr. Roboto uh, to the uh, Paradise Theater and other albums, uh, songs from other albums. So it was a good show. The lighting was awesome. Uh, we got Dennis Young's autograph. Uh, we got guitar picks. The guitar players. Um, Shook hands with the guitar players. The guitar players looked looked and sounded exactly like <clears throat> uh, James Young and um, Tommy Shaw. They're like spitting images, and they feel like clones. They were, they were awesome. And to tell you the truth, it was just like being at a Sticks concert. And uh, I really enjoyed it, and I tell you, Dennis C. Young put on an awesome show as always, and, you know, I, my opinion is, Six really isn't Six without Dennis C. Young, and that's just the way I feel. I mean, I like Six, and don't get me wrong, I do like Six, and I like the original, the original two members, but without Dennis C. Young, it's just not the same, and... Dennis puts put on an awesome show, and uh, I really, really admire Dennis C. Young. I'm a big fan of Dennis C. Young. I always will be a die-hard die fan of Dennis C. Young, and that's never going to change. And any anytime Dennis C. Young is around, if I could get a ticket to go see a show, I try to go out of my way to see him, and it's well worth every penny. And believe it or not, it's not as expensive to see Dennis Young as it is to see the other guys. I'd rather see Dennis Young anyway because he puts on a show. Puts on a good show. So, no. Sorry, guys. But Dennis Young is a man. He's a voice behind sticks. And, no, Dennis Young. I really don't see no point. You know, uh, so. Come on down to the Grand Illusion. <laughs> That's the young man. What a show. Oh, behind me is um, 
you can see is my um, my new banner. But somebody's missing on it. So I took off. Um, I can't mention the person's name because they don't want any, uh, you know, uh, any credit for anything they've done. So I can't mention the name, so I'm going to leave it out. But, um, yeah, I had a band of maids this past this year. Um, cost me uh, 80 bucks for almost 100 bucks for that. I'm going to be, uh, I'm thinking of retiring from ghost hunting. Um, I don't see no point in going, going on anymore. Um, you know, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to do some uh, projects with my friend uh, Dennis Korea. Uh, me and Dennis is going to... I'm not Dennis Korea. I'm sorry. I scratched that out. I was thinking of Dennis. Um, I don't know why I brought up Dennis's name. I was, I was thinking of Dennis the Young and I brought up Dennis Korea. <laughs> sorry, Dennis, man. I didn't mean to read up your name. Me and um, Jesse Korea. I'm sorry. Me and Jesse Korea, I mean, me and my friend Jesse Korea is going to be doing some, Jesse, me and Jesse Korea is going to be doing some projects. Uh, we got some projects lined up this year. Uh, I got a uh, television interview with Jesse um, coming up pretty soon. Um, and we, we Jesse's got a, some uh, investigations coming up. Uh, we got like four, I think we got like, Three or four, like three or four investigations coming up, coming up over the next few months. Um, at some places, um, and um, I guess after I do a few investigations and a TV interview or so, and I guess that'll be it for my ghost hunting. Unless, of course, I do decide to hang on and do another year. If something comes up, I decide to hang on for another year. I I will, but I guess it'll be my choice if I decide to hang on for another year. There's no deadline, you know. If I decide to hang on to go hunt for another year, I will, but I don't know. I'm just tired, you know. I get, I guess I'm just tired, and so much going on with my life and with the house and thing, and but. Jesse's a good guy to work with. I, I'm i glad to be working with Jesse again. Jesse's, Jesse's a very good guy. And uh, we talk at least once a week. Once a week. Uh, at least once a week we talk. And, um, we talk about, you know, uh, things we're doing in uh, our project. So, I think... September 8th, it's a TV interview. Got a big epic TV interview coming up. And uh, I think it's September 8th. I, don't, I gotta look on my calendar. I gotta write it down. And Jesse can interview me for that. And then uh, we're gonna do our first investigation we haven't done for a while. That's coming up. And then we got a few more stuff to do. And then. Uh, We'll see what happens after that. Then New Year's Eve will be coming up, and uh, we'll see what happens after that. If I decide to continue or not, so I don't know. I'm just tired. Just very tired. Uh, so, folks, uh, that's pretty much what's going on with me. And if you get a chance to see Dennis the Young Music of Sticks in your town, grab the tickets. They sell out. It's an awesome show. It's epic. You you can't miss that show. It's the best show in town. The greatest show on earth, folks, is Dennis the Young and the Music of Sticks. It's the next best thing to a to seeing Sticks live. It's, it's the only thing, the only thing, trust me.
It's the only thing. Because when I'm in Tennessee, I'm, there, is no, there is no other show. Trust me. The greatest show on earth is Tennessee Young and Music is the thing. You know what? The music is still stuck in my head after that concert. That concert, after seeing that concert, that concert is stuck in my head. I can't get it out of my head. It's st I still see the show in my head. And I had to go back on YouTube just to recap the show. That's how much it affected me. That's how much that show affected me. I have to, I have to go back to YouTube to watch what I, to watch the show, watch what I already seen live. And I, Dennis called people up to the stage and I ran up to the stage and I saw him face to face. I saw the man himself face to face. You know, you know how exciting that was for me? I'm a big, big fan of Dennis Young. Seeing him face to face is like, Hello, Gary. Wake up. <laughs> you know, it was incredible. So, man, you can't miss the show. As soon as you find out he's coming to your town, grab the tickets. You got to get, you know what? The earlier you get the tickets, the better seats you have. He was at the Zyterian Theater in my area, and I was lucky to get the tickets at the last minute. I had a pretty good seat, because all the seats at the Zyterian Theater are good seats. But if I were to get it earlier, I wouldn't have even a closer seat. But I was lucky to get the seats when I could. And if I would have waited, I would have lost out. I would have, I would have, it would have been sold out, and I wouldn't have been able to go. I'm glad I got those seats when I could. So, remember, keep it real. Give me a kiss. Bye, y'all.